What is going on, executives? Alex Winkick, Michael here, Exec Collects. Hope you all are doing well here in the boardroom today. Thank you all for coming back, joining me for another vlog-style video. That's right, we're going to do a little bit more rambling on today, and I uh, thought it was an interesting topic as I sort of close in on, or I should say close out, the first quarter of 2024, looking at sort of my interaction with comics and collectibles and seeing kind of where I'm at as far as what I'm targeting, where my headspace is as far as the hobby itself goes, so on and so forth. And I thought, you know what, why not do another check-in and kind of talk a little bit about um, the video I made a couple weeks ago and then the week before that, actually, and go into a little bit of where I'm at with it all and kind of seeing where you all are at with everything as well. I mean, the, the space continues to be volatile. Uh, it's funny because, you know, that video last week with X-Men 97... Um, you know, I know that everybody doesn't love it, but it, it genuinely sort of felt like it was that first cinematic universe or cinematic um, show slash, you know, art form, whatever you want to call it, that really did get done sort of right. Now, I know there's some nuancey things that they changed that aren't great. I get it. But for the most part, it was left intact. And um, it just gave me a really good jolt. It gave me a lot of nostalgic joy to watch that show. And I feel like it's been a while since I've gotten that, uh, at least at that level, from anything in a long time. And um, it sort of gave me like a renewed vigor for comics. And then, you know, seeing the VV community. Now, again, I don't know what, how you feel about NFTs. I know, you know, whatever it is, or, or digital comics, whatever. You, <laughs> the VV community, is, is some of them are <laughs> don't like what I say on some of it sometimes. But whatever it is you look at and how you look at it, it sort of is really energizing to see a group of people, a uh, community, if you will, whatever you want to call it, uh, really rally behind something. I, I alluded to that in my last video, but I mean, it's really cool to see. And like I said, and I really meant this, it reminded me of what social media on comics, uh, specifically YouTube and Instagram, looked like a few years ago. And I'm not saying that's all the way gone, because it's not. I mean, there are still pockets of, of just amazing people in this space. Uh, I just feel like it's a little fewer and far between now. And as we uh, close out the quarter and uh, sort of look to C2E2 here in a couple weeks, and, and you know, that's going to be the first major convention that I've attended really since the last C2E2 where it just went south quickly and, and really where I where I took a step back from interacting with the hobby, at least in a social presence uh, or a social media s side. And, you know, and, and it's going to be a big barometer for me. It's going to be a big test to see what it is that I see there. Am I going to like what I see? I, I feel like a lot of the, um, I don't even know what I'm trying to say as far as the scamming goes. It, it feels like maybe some of that is at least stepped back for now, but I know we still have the CGC elements still brewing. I know that there's a lot of people that aren't happy with how that court case and that, that, that sort of ending, that finale that we had with that, it didn't turn out like what we expected. It doesn't seem or feel like there's a lot of accountability had. I feel like that's always sort of been an issue with, with the comic space, especially when it comes to buying and selling. Uh, accountability is, is tough, you know, and and, and the problem that I have is twofold. It's number one, we don't hold people accountable for long enough or through or thoroughly enough. And two, when we do hold them accountable, though, it turns into a complete crucifixion. I mean, it's an evisceration. Uh, I, I mean, a great example is the Vivi. You know, uh, I've, I have people in the comments of the Vivi video, uh, again, because I said Vivi, and rightfully so. You get torched on stuff like that. <laughs> that's, that's definitely okay. But you even have the people where... As a physical collector and trying to take an unbiased view of it uh, and really put it out there for people to make their own judgment and try to make a video that, that is as, as, as to grant it as much exposure as I can. Now, accuracy is definitely up for debate, no doubt about it. But, um, you know, especially for something as complex as it is, uh, I, I felt like, you know, it was really cool to see. Now, I will say 90% of them were really, really amazing. Uh, but you always have those little bits, little pockets of people that just want to gatekeep you out of it. And I was a little surprised to see that, especially in that community so early. And, and I get that, you know, digital comics have been around for a long time. Um, you know, you've been able to read digital comics for years. But what I mean is, like, this is really where they are starting to hit their stride. You know, the VV Comics app, the reader, the, the launch, of, the official launch of VV Comics and Marvel, and that partnership really solidifying into the magnitude that it does. 
Uh, and it does kind of lend you a little cause for concern because those types of gatekeepers in any hobby run people out of it. Um, and and they, they, they turn people away pretty quickly. And it's not a good thing. It's not a good thing at all. If anything, and I've kind of preached this a little bit, uh, or at least I've talked about it a, a little bit since I've been back for the most part, is about how important it is from an education standpoint that we try to educate people in this hobby, including ourselves, you know, myself included, you know, again, I, I don't know everything there is. There's people in this hobby that have forgotten more than I'll ever know, but it's important that we embrace the new people, kind of rubber banding it back to the first quarter. Um, I don't know where I stand, you know, I mean, I, I, I've kind of enjoyed the whatnot stuff a little more now as of late, um, you, you know, that first quarter, I think it is something that, that is not going to be a permanent thing for me by any stretch of the imagination, you know, that, that was really cool to see a lot of you comment on that last video about how much work it is. I didn't feel like I did a really good job on it, to be honest, uh, the one a couple weeks ago, because I was just all over the place, like I often am. But I felt like I was trying to show you at least a little peek behind the scenes of what it goes into sort of buying and selling books and really trying to monetize the hobby and having it pay for itself. It's it's brutal. It's a tough, it's a tough thing to do, and it's not for the faint of heart. It takes a lot of work, a lot of time. Um, I'm a big believer that you have to sort of build a presence online to be able to have any sort of success with it. But, um, you know, I, I, if I look back and I think about like the first quarter highs, I, I mean, I immediately am drawn to being on, um, being on in the mix with DJ links, being with Brian LCS, those people invite me to their channel. It, it just, it was interesting. It just, it sort of brought me back to that 2020, 2021 era of, you know, YouTube where, I don't know. It just it was just such it's such a diverse group of people and people that are very different from one another, but all come together for the love of fandom and comics and collectibles and all those things. And it sort of brought me back to that a little bit. So I'm really appreciative of those guys bringing me on and just talking and let me interact, let me be a part of it. It's it's really it's really amazing. And it's like little special pockets like those that do exist out there still. You just have to find them. I mean I mean my guys from New York, you know, Biggs. Um, <clears throat> all of those guys, uh, I, I mean, I, you know, thorough everybody, you know, I mean, I miss those guys terribly and, uh, Mr. Let all, the, all the gang, man, Chad RCG, um, you know, rest in peace to Chad. And, you know, I miss those guys a lot and I miss that uh, dynamic. I mean, God, staying up till 4am <laughs> doing nothing, but man, just hanging out on a, on a stream yard or a Google chat or a Google hangout. I mean, it was, uh, it was different times then, you know, and it's, it's changed and, and that's what happens in life. Things change and, uh, but man, it, it was it was uh, times that I'll always look back on fondly. But um, you know, I, I'm not feeling a bad spot in the first quarter of uh, 2024. I feel pretty good about it. I mean, I haven't gotten as much of the Grail stuff. I'm sort of in the same boat a lot of you are. That was another thing that I noticed on that video two weeks ago. Many of you made a comment, uh, and it's not like my videos get a ton of views anymore. So I was it was sort of interesting to see. We don't have a huge um, sample size, but a lot of you expressed uh, wanting to sell off a lot of stuff. You're like, look, I want to get out from under a lot of this, you know, because you're just buying to buy. Uh, and, and that kind of stuck out to me a little bit because, I, you know, I, I feel like I was in that same boat as well and kind of still am as I sort of filter through what I have. Um, I still buy stuff when it makes sense. I was sort of pushing back on some collections. I think I have a couple of things in the works that I'll, I'll try to get. Um you know, I'm thinking about maybe selling less frequently on whatnot. I think that, oddly enough, I don't want to put too much on my C2E2 experience, but I think that's going to really have a lot to do with how I, what direction I go in, if that makes sense. I think it's going to have a lot to do with the direction the channel goes in. Uh, I really am enjoying making these shorts. They don't get a lot of views, and, and I've noticed they've started to fall off a cliff. But, man, they are a lot of fun to make. And I know that they can mess with your channel, um... You know, for me, I don't really particularly care. I mean, I'm starting to kind of, you know, at least do this again for the love of it more so than anything else. So that that's also kind of a good feeling to recapture. And I'm in a really good spot from a career standpoint. Um, I'm in a really good spot. Way better than I deserve, that's for sure. So, I mean, I'm firing on all cylinders in that front as well. But anyway, I have rambled long enough. Let me know how the first quarter of 2024 went for you for comics, collectibles, and anything that you love and collect. 
Let me know what you're feeling like. How, what's your 2024 outlook look like? Are you uh, just as in love with, uh, with your hobby as you have been in years past? Or are you starting to see the sparkle fizzle a little bit? Uh, you know, I mean, uh, as I always say, you know, just try to be kind to each other. Let's get the trash out of the, out of the, oh, almost said the word, out of the ecosystem, community, whatever. Let's get rid of them. Let's hold them accountable. Get them out of here. But let's be good to those that come into the uh, space that may not have the knowledge that you or I or others that are way better at it than I am have. And, um, Let's try to uh, let's try to grow it in a, in a grassroots type of way, you know. But again, always interested to hear your thoughts. Thank you for listening to this guy ramble a little bit more, like an old wizard. I am very very grateful for the platform that I have, and I'm glad that I'm still still kind of doing this to some extent. So <laughs> nonetheless, I really really appreciate it. Hopefully, I will see some of your faces at C2E2. If you will be there, leave me a comment. As we lead up to it, I would love to meet up with whoever. Like I said, I have no agenda, and it is really cool to see. But, uh, man, really, really good stuff. Thank you again for everything. I'm Alex Wink, Inc., Michael Exec Collects. That's it for this one, and I really hope I'll see you all on the next one.